This is Athletes Lives Network. Today we're here with football player Anthony Hanspark, East Chicago Central High School, class of 1990. How you doing, Anthony? I'm doing all right. AKA Ham. What's going on, Ham? You doing okay? How you doing? Doing pretty good. I want to thank you for the opportunity to get your life experiences. I hope that um, your experiences are memorable so that we can help the next man in line, with, which is our youth and um, young athletes that's coming behind us. Um, as we get started, just give us a little feedback on who you are and how you got started in sports. Uh, I got started in sports at a young age. I got started in sports at a young age, watching uh, Lawrence Bradford, Otis Green, the rest of them guys play football, soccer field, and I want to go out there and play with them. And Brian Harvey was out there with us, Hosey Brickman was out there with us. Anthony Dowdell played with us. People my Darcy L. Swanson, Kevin Burner, most of them guys was out there with me. So that's how I got started playing with them and watching the big guys play and I want to follow by now. So what city are you from and, and what, what section of town and things of that nature? Oh, I'm from East Chicago. The section I'm from is from Cal 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 Okay. Uh, as you were explaining to me earlier, you said you had sections that you guys played at. Can you kind of explain that rivalry you had with, within the city? Yes, the soccer field was main more with the Projects guys. Then we played at Riley Park. That was main for the guys that grew up in Calumet. Then we played at the park on the 150th. That's down about the 50th block of Melville. Played down there a lot. So we used to get beat up when we go down there a lot. So they didn't like us down there. 50th of Melville. That's back in the day. I'm good old days. Together. Of course, I was born and raised in East Chicago. Um, East Chicago is a heavily known basketball city. Um, everybody played basketball. So what other sports besides football um, did you have interest in? I played basketball, uh, bitty ball. Started for kid, gosh. Fifth grade, sixth grade. Played the summer league. I played for Heritage Hall. I didn't have enough talent to play for 151 or ML King at that time. And we play a lot of night gym. Night gym was pretty big too. And, and every year, every, every time we got out of school, when we was coming up, we go to the carriage and play. Did a lot of basketball with Charles Richards out there with us. Okay. At, at, as you explain, um, you have enough talent to play for 151 or MLK. Um, who were some of your peers at the time that were better than you, per oh. se? We had Delmar Johnson, Corey Battle, Mark Johnson, Darcy Glenn at the time. Um, Eric Irving, Jack Bucks. So we had a lot of talent out there. So was those individuals um, better than you because they were just better? Were they older? Um, what what separated them guys from from you at at that time? They had better talent than me. Or everybody that name, they had better talent than me. In in all sports. In all sports, in all sports. Cause I didn't play baseball. Yes, in all sports. Gotcha. Okay. Um, give us some feedback on y your transition through middle school, which is West Side Junior High. Yes, right? I went to West Side Junior. Okay. High. Give us a little feedback on West Side and your playing experiences there. When I got to West Side, I played on the seventh and eighth grade basketball team. The eighth grade, the seventh grade basketball team, we didn't win the championship. We, I think we are block beaters. Black beat. Black won the championship that year. The following year, we hit our whole team together because some of them was hurt. We won the eighth grade championship that year. We had a good record. I think we finished 19 and 5 that year. And we beat Pulaski. I think we beat Pulaski in the championship game. And that's in the eighth grade. That's when I fell in love with football. That was uh, back in 85, 86. And I fell in love with the Chicago Bears more. 85 championship. That's when I fell in love with um, football. And that's when I started. My freshman year, that's when I traveled for the football team. My freshman year at Central, I played on the basketball team. But we had an A team on the freshman level, and we had a B team on the freshman level. And I played on the B team. At that time, I knew I, my talent was that good to play with the big boys on the A team. So I stuck with football. That's when I started football. Outside linebacker, and I played a little defensive end in my freshman year. We had a good record that year. We finished 6 and 1, won the conference. At that time, we, um, Central was in the conference. Matter of fact, after last year, after they ever went independent. So what um what players on that six and one team do you remember um, besides yourself having some um, great seasons? Oh, Eric Irving, started with the quarterback. Eric Irving, Ron Suarez, 
Anthony Dowdell, um, Ray Ray. Ray Ray was in the backfield too big as he was. He was in that backfield too. We had a good team. I don't remember the offensive lineman that much, but I remember playing with Anthony. I remember playing with Ray Ray, Kevin, Wolves, Eric Irvin. Okay. And, and Robert Doss played with us too. Robert Doss played with us. He played with us too. When my sophomore year, we finished. Our, our record was two, two and seven. And the coaching, the coaching, the coaching what we had at that time, was changing with the with the athletes that we had. We had a lot of speed. And all they all they wanted to do was just run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, run. Even if it was two, if it was two second down and ten, still run the ball. You know you're supposed to pass the ball. So the we had to make a change with the coaching staff. So what you, what you're saying is that coach Coach Neely, his style of play, his style of um, his system wasn't fitting the, the the athletes you guys had in, in place at, at that time. Correct, it wasn't not fitting. At so all. was it so with the tension on, with, within the team, like because you guys had talent, was the tension within the yes the yes coaches? a lot of tension. Yeah, I can remember that, and we was arguing with each other a lot during that time. We was arguing with each other a lot. We was frustrated. Come had like Gary Waters beat us 50, 53 to 14. Getting blowed out of every game. We in every game. Then come down to the second half, the fourth quarter, they just run away with the game on us. So, how did you progress as an athlete from your sophomore year and going into your junior season? What what, what improvement did you see um, with, within yourself? Oh, that's that. That time we got into the weight room. Then yeah. we was doing. We were, um, men athletes go to the weight room a lot. Work out, run sprints, jog, throw the football in the summertime. To improve myself going into my junior year. My junior year, that's when I got the opportunity to start outside linebacker. Then. That's when I say my junior year. That was 89 senior. That's, yeah, I got to use the Scott up short in. Yeah, we still had a poor record, two and four, two and seven. Yeah. That 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 season, um, your junior year, Scott Upshaw uh, was one of the featured people on your team. Also, um, Eric Irvin. Who else was? Was featured De- on, on that. Debbie Coleman was a pretty, pretty good football player at that time, too. Debbie Coleman. Okay. Adrian Jackson. We called him team. Yeah, he was pretty good. Okay, and, and so, like, what, 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 what did he play? Linebacker? La- uh, defense end. Adrian, Adrian played a middle linebacker. Debbie played defense end. Scott was all purpose. Scott was clocking at a 4 3 4 4 4 4 He easy. He get daylight, he gone. He couldn't catch him. Yeah. Yeah. He, so, you guys end up losing to Gary Wallace in the second of yeah. junior season. As you said, 53. 53-14. Can you give us some feedback on that game and and, and some play that you, you you made and things I, of that nature? Yeah, go back and look. I think our quarterback got hurt. And they put Anthony Dowdell in as the quarterback, as an option quarterback. And he have not played quarterback all year. He had four, four days to get prepared for this game Friday night. And that was, wow, that was... I think he got sacked ten times, ten times that game, passed for a negative five yards. I mean, the score was 53 to 14. Then they put me in that wide receiver. I never played wide receiver a day in my life. I didn't know what I was doing out there. I asked him, where I go? They said, you follow behind Judah. They asked Judah, I got the last of Judah, but what I do? He said, you go get the reverse. And I took the reverse and ran for 56 yards. Hmm. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> so this is your senior year, 1989. You had some changes um, in place. Uh, Coach e- Egowski, um, better known as Coach E, came into play with a new, a new system. Uh, kind of explain how your your team dealt with his new culture and also your expectations going into your senior year. That was, I thought that was going to be a good year for us. We had a good offensive coordinator named Coach Carr, and he was working with Woons a lot. Woons would throw the ball. Um, he had Jude at wide receiver. He had Anthony at the other wide receiver. He had Brian Hudson in the backfield. We had a solid offensive line with Robert Smith. And I just thought we was going to have a good year that year. Okay, I think, so if I'm not mistaken, we finished 3 and 6. Finished 3 and 6. So you, uh, you guys started off the year with a big victory over Lake Lake Central. Central. You got 27 20. And then that was an game, right? the, next, the next four games. You guys, you guys lost. Kind of, kind of give me the feedback on how you guys were accepting the new coaching. Was the coaching 
automatically better, or was you guys still used to Coach Neely? Or what was going on? The coaching was better. We still was used to the old ways as seniors. But as we as when we left ninety one ninety two, they was they got better. So what did Coach E do differently than than, than Coach Neely? Throw the ball, pass the ball. That was it. It's different. What and built, um and built a good offensive line. Gotcha. What 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 plays in that year and what players stood out? in that 1989 season, which is your senior year. And how did you guys finish the season? Up? The players that stood out, we had Corey Battle. He played cornerback. That's just, we had, court, we had Corey Battle with us. Season number 20, he was one of our cornerback. And he had a good season. He haven't get, he have not gave up a touchdown the whole season, except the last game of the year against Lake Central. Mm -hmm. He got through a bomb on him. All year, shut down corner. So we were solid at that. And we had Milton Reed, Jermaine, Jermaine Jernigan, Brian Husson, Myself, Anthony, Dowdell, Judah Parks, singers from that team. Yeah. We had the Alien Norris played with us too. Dwight Morgan played with us. Okay, so after your senior year, did you have any aspirations on playing college football? Um, what took place in your recruiting process? And give some feedback on that. Um, I thought, uh, after my senior year, I went to North Plain Community College in Thief River Falls, in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. I played one year up there. I play safety, free safety at the moment, uh, number 21. Say one season after that, I let the football one for me no more. Why not? What, what, what took place? At my athletic skills were that good. I'm running a 4 8, they run a 4 5s, 4 6s, 4 4s. How did you get to that, that school in Minnesota? Uh, I get the, the coach, coach, he, coach, he helped me get up there. I stayed one year. It was pretty good. It was pretty good year. So you so you, you quit because you didn't feel like you had the talent or you just want to play? Well, I mean, what really took place because, you know, you that team accepted you. So when a team take you, they, they feel like you have enough talent to, 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 to be there. I just lost love for the game. That year, I, I, I lost love for the game. I tried for out that school. I went to uh, Northeast Louisiana University and tried to get my degree. And I'm 24 hours credit short of it. Any, any any regrets to this day now now finishing up at River Falls in two years and having the opportunity to play somewhere else? Yeah, if I knew what I knew now, I'd, I'd take my um, athletic more serious. I'm quite sure all of us probably would. I would hit the weight room, stay off the alcohol, and continue my athletic career. Who did you lean on when when you had times of um doubt of you know I don't belong on this level? Because because you explained it's not that. Because, because you were in a four seven four eight and the guys were in four fours, you were you were felt like you was out of place. At, at that time, I just I just kept I kept in contact with the guys that went to North Atlanta, Arizona. And there's a group of them went out there. With Sean Miller went out there. Delmar Johnson went out there. Corey Battle and Jake Buzz. I just called them a lot. At that time, when I was to go to school together. Okay, so how did you transition from the city of Chicago, which we all know have our our races, our nationalities there, to I'm pretty sure a thief. River Falls, Minnesota. Yes, it was hard. I was only black there. About three blacks there. It was pretty hard. I dealt with it for a year, for a semester. 